Hello, I'm Jeff Songer, Chief Operating Officer at Kansas City Southern, and I would like to welcome you to the 26th Annual and Second Virtual AAR Research Review hosted by TTCI. As your keynote speaker today, I would like to thank AAR and TTCI for the opportunity to show how KCS is modernizing the way we do business. The past year has presented unique challenges for the industry. The COVID pandemic has changed the way many of us work and conduct our daily personal lives. At the onset of the pandemic, KCS established two guiding principles to chart our course. First was to ensure the health and well-being of our employees, and second, to ensure continuity of the essential services we provide. Through industry collaboration, including efforts of our regulators and labor representatives, we have weathered what we believe has been the most challenging period of the pandemic. We have continued to provide essential services to support the North American economy, and we remain well positioned to support recovery and growth into the future. We have adapted to new ways of conducting business through virtual communications, teaching, and learning platforms. And it is more apparent now than ever before that technology will help shape our future. Since its incorporation in 1998, the vision of TTCI is to be the provider of choice for advancing railway safety and technology. TTCI has helped the industry evolve in many ways. How we maintain track and equipment, providing testing for advancement of new technologies, and helping train first responders are just a sample of the work that has been done. In 2019, KCS was fortunate to have the opportunity to host Mary Clara Jones for the TTCI Railroad Exchange Program. For the past eight years, TTCI has provided one individual to work directly with the partner railroad for a year in this program. Mary Clara participated in numerous projects during her time at KCS while focusing on predictive analytics in our mechanical and engineering functions. Here's Mary Clara to talk a little more about her experience. Hello, I'm Mary Clara Jones. I manage the Vehicle Track Interaction Engineering Team at the Transportation Technology Center Incorporated. In 2019, I had the honor of being selected as TTCI's Railroad Exchange employee, working with Kansas City Southern Railway Company at their Kansas City, Missouri headquarters. TTCI's Railroad Exchange Program is beneficial to TTCI and its exchange partner by providing the exchange employee the opportunity to work on location with the member railroad on initiatives that the member railroad requests. During my year at KCS, I worked hand in hand on projects with KCS personnel, gained invaluable experience addressing the challenges railroads face every day, and now I bring that experience to TTCI. In preparation for my exchange program at KCS, I identified areas of interest that would provide me with knowledge growth in areas of railroading that I was not familiar with. This also provided KCS an opportunity to identify projects that were already underway that I could support. The two primary areas of interest I identified were operations planning as it related to route capacity and utilization of big data to drive data-driven decisions in minimizing risk and prioritizing investments. During my exchange at KCS, I had the pleasure of working with a diverse team of KCS leaders that exposed me to many aspects of operating a class one railroad. I was able to work on a variety of projects across the departments at KCS, including capacity planning and optimization studies as it relates to locomotive utilization, locomotive wheel studies, including enhancing maintenance to optimize wheel life, improving detector desk roles and responsibilities, Rail Replacement Capital Prioritization Program, utilizing inspection data sets for better forecasting, and train makeup and train handling studies. While my exchange program at KCS ended in January of 2020, the experience at KCS and working with KCS leaders continues to be very rewarding and beneficial. The industry knowledge I gained and that others have gained while completing the exchange program have enhanced TTCI's industry research projects that support the Class 1 railroads. I want to express my gratitude to Mr. Songer and KCS for giving me this opportunity. Thanks again to TTCI for allowing KCS to host Mary Clara in 2019, and we look forward to sponsoring a TTCI representative again in the future. 
I would now like to welcome a few of my colleagues to talk about some of the new technologies Kansas City Southern is deploying in the areas of safety, sustainability, customer service, and asset inspections, just to name a few. Hello, I'm Caden Howard, Vice President of Health, Safety, and Environmental at Kansas City Southern. At KCS, we are leveraging technology now more than ever, including in the areas of sustainability and safety. Freight rail is well ahead of other modes of transportation when it comes to limiting greenhouse gas emissions. Our industry is increasing fuel efficiency and reducing our carbon footprint, but we have to do more. KCS has set a goal of reducing emissions by 12% by 2025 from 2018 levels. We are poised to exceed that goal by the end of this year, four years early. And now, like several other Class 1 carriers, KCS has committed to a science-based target, the emissions reduction needed to curb global temperature rise to well below 2 degrees Celsius. But without question, our industry will not be able to meet these goals without major advances in new technology. Significant investments in research are essential to finding alternatives to traditional diesel fuel. The scale of the challenge facing our planet can seem daunting, but our industry is taking action now. We also take great pride in our continuous improvement in safety performance. America's freight railroad industry has lower employee injury rates than most other major U.S. industries, including trucking, airlines, agriculture, and construction. Since 2000, our safety performance has improved dramatically. As we continue to strive toward our ultimate goal of zero accidents and injuries, we must harness the power and promise of technology to drive even greater improvement in the years ahead. To that end, at KCS, we are consistently evaluating existing practices to see how technology can make our operations safer and more sustainable. For example, we have begun deploying handheld devices to conductors and engineers. These transportation workers receive track bulletins, general orders, safety alerts, shipping papers, and more delivered directly to their devices. This allows them to skip the yard office and go straight to the train, which is now more important than ever in light of the pandemic. Employees also receive safety training, can report a safety concern, and have a variety of other safety-related tools at their fingertips. We are also bringing our safety management system into the digital age, specifically building on a foundation of ISO standards, safety procedures, checklists, audits, and inspections, among other things, are integrated into a technology solution that uses workflows to ensure consistent processes across the organization. For example, our contractor safety portal allows us to track and monitor contractor safety data so that we can confirm that the contractor is meeting KCS safety expectations. The same portal also allows us to confirm at the worker level that employees working on our property have the required training. Additionally, in March of 2018, we began installing more sophisticated cameras in our fleet of nearly 600 vehicles. In the first month, we recorded 7.63 coachable events per camera. By January of 2021, that figure had fallen to 0.17 coachable events per camera, a 94% improvement. We are also using drones to supplement bridge inspections. This allows our bridge inspectors to efficiently inspect our infrastructure while keeping their feet safely on the ground. And finally, KCS is using a virtual reality training application to teach freight car air brake inspections, a fundamental skill for new conductors and freight car mechanics. The app allows students to practice freight car inspections in the classroom, demonstrating proficiency before transitioning to a hands-on setting in the yard. These are just some examples of how technology is revolutionizing safety in Kansas City Southern's operations. From the inception of railroad operations, mechanical forces have been required to complete train inspections and perform rail car repairs. With the development of machine vision and artificial intelligence technologies, autonomous rail car inspections are possible. During the past year, we began our journey to change how we interact with our railroad equipment. KCS has installed a rail car inspection portal on our main line in the northern region of Mexico. 
This portal currently operates autonomously with 14 machine vision algorithms. 12 more are in the learning phase of development. This portal provides KCS with an opportunity to inspect rail cars with a 360 degree view of the equipment while the train is in motion. There is an array of LED lights and high-speed cameras mounted inside the portal to capture the images. The artificial intelligence employed has learned to identify defects with a very high rate of accuracy, regardless of weather or lighting conditions. This technology captures rail car defects, which would otherwise require our employees to climb on top of or underneath the equipment while it is at rest in a rail yard. The elimination of this traditional practice not only improves our service level to customers by reducing yard dwell, but most importantly, it avoids the unnecessary hazards and potential for injuries to our employees by keeping them on the ground for inspections of rail cars. Now, the only time they need to get on top of the equipment is to make repairs. Once an algorithm identifies a defect, an automatic alert is sent to our operations support team for handling with our mechanical car team at the next receiving yard. Our operations support team uses this technology to train the system to identify defects, as well as validate the defects during the training phase of algorithm development. This technology also affords us the ability to quickly identify conditions with the potential to cause a train and emergency delay, such as when rail cars have broken air hose supports or defective airline trolley arrangements. By proactively identifying these conditions, we can stop the train in a siding, make necessary adjustments to the equipment, and not impact mainline operations. I am enthusiastic about our journey to employ technologies that are going to allow KCS to safely and timely inspect our trains and optimize the rail supply chain for our customers. Hello, my name is Janine Rice and I am the Director of Business Excellence at KCS. Business Excellence focuses on continuous improvement and deploying technology that supports business process improvements across the company. As our EVP and Chief Innovation Officer, Brian Hancock, commented at the Progressive Railroading Magazine Summit on Advancements in Rail Technology, we are focusing on KCS's technology journey through use of dashboards. Hancock has also discussed how mobility and data science are changing the way companies use data to be more proactive. So let's begin with business excellence in analytics and network and capacity planning, which are all part of KCS's continuous improvement culture under the innovation and technology umbrella. If we look at the analytics landscape today, KCS is progressing from the left quadrant of reporting what happened with visibility of data in dashboards and tools towards the upper right quadrant, which focuses on the use of machine learning to predict and influence what happens in the future. Machine learning facilitates a migration from rear view based decisions to forward looking decisions, predictive analytics. Artificial intelligence then recommends a potential decision, prescriptive analytics. One improvement made in reporting is our live terminal inventory dashboard, which focuses on improved customer performance through real-time visualization of yard classification requirements. The organization is also using data science. For example, we utilize machine learning to continue to strive for continuous improvement in safety and wheel technology to understand when a wheel might fail based on the rail car type and location within the network resulting in an early indication before a failure. KCS is using Robotic Process Automation, or RPA, which is state-of-the-art machine learning and AI technology to facilitate the automation of daily repetitive tasks with greater speed and accuracy. The network and capacity planning team has 100 plus processes in the backlog to use RPA on. However, RPA has been implemented on a KCS rollout to our transportation documentation process in the U.S. With RPA automation, 2,500 plus CERT requirement records have posted in the system thus far. Moving toward more of a data-driven culture, KCS has dedicated a team of Six Sigma trained professionals that identify opportunities to improve business processes through the use of data and reporting. This team then engages the process owner to develop improvements and facilitate processes that allow for faster, more accurate business decisions. 
In the deployment of productivity dashboards, the terminal scorecards are used to replace daily manual pulls of performance data. These dashboards are used to identify areas of performance opportunity and develop action plans to improve a process. Monitoring and improving the process with Six Sigma tools is the next step. This slide illustrates the data used to help identify areas of opportunity for our coal train velocity improvement project as part of the KCS Continuous Improvement Six Sigma Greenbelt program. First the box plot, then the run chart were analyzed to help us understand behavior of this process. The data displayed indicated that short-haul coal trains were the largest opportunity for improvement in velocity. To address this opportunity, a slotting plan was developed, resulting in an improvement to velocity in our short-haul coal train business. Hello, my name is Nicholas Klein, and I am the Business Transformation Director for Kansas City Southern. At KCS, like many of the other Class 1s, we are committed to improving our customers' experience through increased visibility to their shipments and improved transit performance. To that end, KCS is in the midst of a significant effort to modernize our operating systems and incorporate the most recent advances in technology and innovation. In support of this vision, we are updating our data infrastructure through S4 HANA and completely shifting our core operating system from a legacy language to a modern, mobile-friendly codebase. This will create the needed system foundation and data infrastructure, allowing us to tap into the power of machine learning, algorithm-based switching, optimized dispatching, and eventually automated train control. These technologies can be transformational to the rail industry, enabling the required data elements to provide real-time shipment info to customers, and will also enable our employees to work more efficiently and effectively. An example of the impact applied technology can have is the convergence of mobile devices and modernized operational applications. We are in the midst of deploying a modernized crew calling system that will allow our T&E employees in the field to log in using a mobile device and see critical information that today requires them to call into our crew team. This improves our field employees' experience while also freeing up our crew team to shift its focus from providing info to improving operational performance. As the technology is deployed, more sophisticated applications like mobile work order tracking and using geofencing for automated tie-ups at the end terminal will be enabled. These are basic examples of the power of technology when paired with practical application. For technology to have the intended impact, it has to be business focused and deliver real tangible value. This business focused technology strategy is at the core of KCS's modernization journey and an important part of our path to sustained success. Technological advancement in the rail industry is an exciting journey, and at KCS, we are thrilled to help move that journey forward. As you can see, technology is touching virtually every aspect of our business and operation at KCS. I would like to recognize all of our workers at Kansas City Southern and across the industry who have worked tirelessly over the past many months ensuring that freight continues to move safely and efficiently. Railroads are an essential industry and will remain so even after the COVID era is behind us. It is critical that our railroads, our regulators, and labor representatives work together to promote the use of technology to ensure our future remains bright. Thank you for your time and enjoy the 2021 AAR Research Review.